Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice in the Giant Bookshelf. Today I'm going to be talking about booktube spin number six. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books. And in the interest of getting through some of those books, I thought I would join in with booktube spin number six. And if you've not heard of the booktube spin before, this is hosted by Rick McDonnell over on his channel, which I'll link down below. And the idea of it is that you pick 20 books that you want to read, preferably from your giant TBR. You number them one to 20, post that list somewhere, either on Instagram, YouTube, wherever. Then tomorrow, Friday, Rick is going to be spinning the wheel to find out which two numbers we need to read. Now, I did participate in booktube spin number five and I haven't done very well with it. The two books I got were The Mousetrap by Agatha Christie, which I attempted to read in March but decided I just wasn't in the mood for reading play scripts at that time. So I put that to one side to read another time. I also didn't get to my other pick, which was Murder Isn't Easy, a book all about the poisons of Agatha Christie. So I haven't actually succeeded in reading either of those. This time around, Rick has suggested that we do something a bit different with our lists. So what I decided to do this time is I decided to grab one of my TBR shelves because I now have in this section behind me all these books are to be read. I have more TBR shelves as well but these ones are all unread apart from Cloud Cookie Land which is at the front there. Um, so I've gone to my top shelf up there, emptied it and there was 15 books on that shelf all of which have been on my TBR for a really long time and I've decided to fill up the final five slots in a completely different way by the final five books are going to be audiobooks, which I have purchased and not yet listened to. So let's start with the list. I'm not going to say much about these books because I want to keep this brief today. Here's my list. So book number one is going to be Birdman by Mo Hader. I believe these books are very gruesome and violent and I've slightly put off reading more of them. I have read one of her books, I think, but I would like to read more. So Birdman is number one. Number two is also a Mohada book. Um, you'll notice that there are some multiples with authors because I tend to put one author's works together on the shelf, as you do. This one is Skin by Mohada, and this is going to be book two on the list. I'm sure one of these is the sequel to the other, so hopefully I don't get the one I'm not supposed to start with, but yeah, skin is book two. Book three is The Neon Rain by James Lee Burke. I believe I bought this in a library sale. Yeah, I did. I bought this in a library sale over 10 years ago, and I have read one book by James Lee Burke as well, and it was very good, so I would like to get on and read The Neon Rain, which is book number three. Book number four, there is a theme for the next three books, and that is Red Dwarf. So this shelf is a bit more sci-fi than my general TBR is. Um, I've read one of the books in this omnibus, and I really enjoyed it. The Red Dwarf books are really, really funny, and I enjoyed the TV series. So if I get this one, I'll be reading the second book in the omnibus, Better Than Life. And this one's by Rob Grant and Doug Naylor. Grant Naylor. That's number four. Number five is Last Human by Doug Naylor, which is another Red Dwarf book. Um, all these Red Dwarf books actually belong to my husband, but I would really, really like to read them. And I'm really looking forward to reading this one at some point because the episode that this relates to was hilarious. This is Red Dwarf Backwards by Rob Grant, and I really enjoyed the episode where everything was backwards, so maybe I will get that one, and that's book six. <laughs> Book seven I think might be a bit sci-fi as well. It's uh, The 25th Hour by David Benioff. Don't know a lot about this book, but I've had it on my TBR for a long time. And another sci-fi is Philip K. Dick's Minority Report, which is, I think, a short story. Yeah, this is actually a short story collection, but Minority Report was made into a film, and this is the film cover. So yeah, that's gonna be book number eight, I believe. Book number nine, I think this is another collection. Yeah, this is a collection of short stories as well, which would be handy for Mitzi's read-along. 
for May, which is all about short stories. I will link Mitzi Reads and Writes channel down below, and I know she's got a co-host as well, who I'll also link down below. So this is another short story collection, London After Midnight, which includes stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Agatha Christie, Ruth Rendell, P.D. James, and Graham Greene. So this is a crime short story collection, all set in London, I believe. And that's number nine. Number 10 is going to be The Singing Sands by Josephine Tay. I've read a couple of Josephine Tay's books and I really enjoy them. And yeah, this one was given to me by my mum along with the rest of my Josephine Tay collection. Book number 11 is Denise Mina's The Red Road. This is another crime and this is one that I randomly picked up in the bookshop The Works. Um, it just sounded like it appealed to me. But since then I haven't felt any urge to pick it up. So if I get this one, this is book number 11, I will read that. Number 12 is a bit of a thriller, a crime book as well. It's Cross Cut by Meg Gardner. I do believe I've started this one once before, but didn't get very far, so I'll try again if I get number 12. Number 13 is The Next Accident by Lisa Gardner. I've enjoyed several other books by Lisa Gardner, so would quite like to get to this one. Number 14 is Filth by Irving Welsh. I think I got this free with a magazine or something and don't know a lot about it or whether I actually want to read it, but I'll give it a try if I get number 14. And finally, number 15 is Manhattan Is My Beat by Jeffrey Deva. This was on my list of books that will self-destruct in 12 months, so it'd be good to get number 15, my lucky number. Now, number 16 onwards are going to be the audiobooks. So carrying on the sci-fi theme, number 16, book 16, is going to be The Martian by Andy Weir. I downloaded this a while ago and I would really like to read Andy Weir's other books as well, so I'm hoping I enjoy it. Book number 17 is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've yet to read anything by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I've downloaded this audiobook because it was recommended, I think by Jack at Spread Book Joy. Number 18 is going to be The Locked Room by Ellie Griffiths. I'm really, really looking forward to this next book in the Ruth Galloway series because I've been listening to all of them on audiobook and it's been a while since the last one. Number 19 is going to be Grey Mask by Patricia Wentworth. Patricia Wentworth is a recommendation a long-standing recommendation from Lil at Lil's Vintage World. I'm not sure if she's a golden age crime writer but I think around that sort of time another author that I've really wanted to try a book from so I thought I'd start with her first one and I've downloaded that too. And number 20 is going to be The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave which I picked up on audiobook because it came out top in Goodreads Mystery and Thriller category in the Goodreads Awards last year, so I've wanted to pick that up as well. That was my random list. We have 15 paperbacks and we have five audiobooks on the list, making up my 20, and the wheel is going to be spun on Friday, which should be if I get this video out in time tomorrow. Yeah, if you're joining in with the booktube spin, let me know in the comments down below. What's your list? What are you hoping to get? Um, are there any books on my list that you would really like the spin to turn up? And I love hearing from you about this, which of these books you think I should read first because it also gives me more inspiration for TBRs. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this booktube spin list, please do give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will be back again very soon with another video all about books here on Alice in the Giant Bookshelf. I hope you'll join me. Bye for now.